Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs today. I'm so excited to show you this charming coach style property behind me. It is a two bedroom, two bathroom property located in Edgbaston, Birmingham. Right, so that's Birmingham, West Midlands, UK. So just to go through the specs, like I said, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom property. The price is available on application. So if you want to know any more about this property, read the description. It's all gonna be there via link. Right, so if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll tell the whole thing together. All right, come on. Hi, welcome and come inside. Okay, so right, what the first thing you're gonna notice is that you're now in your hallway and this is such a welcoming space. I love this colour scheme and everything around me, but let's start with the first thing I like to point out all the time, which is the choir matting. So they've got choir matting and I love the way it's been extended in quite a lot into the house. This is obviously to avoid tracking in dirt into the property. I love that. I also love the door itself. It's like a, a satin sheen black with a key keyhole there as well. Um, chrome eye mongery as well with a little key light above bringing in light. It's very tall and the ceiling heights in this property are very generous. You're going to notice that. And um, we've got a really cute little wall light there as well. So there's a point for what lighting. And then we've got this beautiful, what looks like it could be um, tile flooring. We'll put the details in the description below. The first door you're going to notice is this very, very handy powder room. I am going to call it a powder room because it's definitely beautiful and it's got your hidden system toilet and it's got your sink as well beautiful finishes throughout just to touch more on this room we've got this half height tiling in this herringbone pattern it's beautiful very very beautiful uh, kind of off gray color the flooring continues into the powder room as well and then we've also got this beautiful wallpaper there's a bit of a vaulted ceiling in this toilet as well but essentially it's all tied in integrated with property there's this off gray door in this beautiful paneled effect very modern actually it's contemporary paneled style and it contrasts very nice with the traditional details in this show home then we've got your temperature control panel here by your front room let's go into the front room so we've got this beautiful lounge here it's very snug so i would probably call it a snug actually it's like a snug slash lounge and it's got space enough for a two seat two-seater sofa, you've got your TV mounted there over the wall, and you can see the proportions by me standing here. You're going to notice the floor to ceiling height is so high here, it's close to three meters I'm estimating, and then we've got a mystery door here which takes you to your own additional storeroom. So I love the way they've utilized the space in this property, you can see there you've got storage with that beautiful flooring. Guys, guys, before we use you, I want to show you this absolutely gorgeous skirting and architrave detail, which you're gonna find. These are the traditional details that fit the site and the context of this property. And then they've got this stepped edge profile to the architrave, which wraps around and continues with the skirting. You've got these beautiful, um, what's it called? Um, I think it's kind of like a nickel effect as well to the light switches and that accents this room. Next thing I want to point out is the bifolding doors that open from left to right which opens this room completely into your terrace which doubles the, the size and the feel of this space and you can just see how the light's shining over that rendered wall there. This has so much potential with the solid brickwork as well and the planting. You can just imagine over time that would really come to light. So let's go to the next room on this floor. And I love the, the depth of this as well, the chunkiness of this wall. Um, coming through, we've got now our kitchen dining area. I love the proportions. It's a square room and you've got a U-shaped kitchen and it flows very nicely to this kind of this booth area, which they've really, really designed very lovely. They've got a TV mount on the wall, which means you can probably have this maybe a lounge area if you wanted, a little snug as well. And I'm going to touch on really quickly the windows here. These are black. Let me show you really quickly. These are black framed windows and they're timber so they're traditional style frames with the glazing bars and these are proper glazing bars not just decorative ones they go all the way through the glass to the other side and it's so quiet in here so i assume the specification of those windows is very high so again you've got the beautiful flooring you've got the kitchen in a concrete effect 
very textured, I love it. There's a bit of a satin sheen on these, contrasted nicely with the matte as well. I mean, there's just so much attention to detail here. It's insane. I don't even feel like I can get it all in this video. We've got Neff appliances, integrated hot oven, and an integrated what looks like it's going to be a microwave oven as well. I love the controls on that. And then that's a push drawer as well. That's lovely. And that's your cutlery drawer potentially, or for, for lids, for pots as well. You've got this beautiful kind of handles to your appliances. Oh, love that. Integrated bin. This is a top spec kitchen with what looks like a south stone worktop. We've got a large drawer here as well with a soft closer. Neff gas hob with five hops as well. Really lovely. And the south stone worktop is com uh, continued upwards and it forms a large splashback to the hub as well. You've got your extract fan there concealed. So these panels obviously conceal the extract fan so they're not openable. They've got openable um, cupboard doors as well. And I love the fact that the white has been contrasted really nicely with the black interiors. So again, that's a definitely a uh, designer touch. Do you notice this? Uh, con the, this band around the top of the kitchen as well, that's unusual, it kind of frames like the area and then kind of really envelopes the kitchen as well. Going back to the worktop, we've got these integrated grooves in the worktop which flow right uh, into our stainless steel sink. It's a one and a half bowl and the sink is by a bowed and then you've got a tap as well, also by a bowed, lovely designer brand. And then it just continues round. You've got sockets over there as well. And I think this is your Zanussi washing machine, integrated beautifully. You've got space underneath your sink. Wow, that's really, really well done. <laughs> Normally, this is all kind of messy. That's why your stopcock tap as well. And your dishwasher, of course, by Zanussi. Beautiful. And we're going to guess this is going to be our fridge freezer. Fridge freezer done it in a 70-30 or probably 60-40 arrangement again with that beautiful textured concrete effect modern um, finish as well and then you've got your um, furniture arrangement it's probably the, whatever you make of it you know dining nook snug it's completely up to you again you can see the generous ceiling heights with those Roman blinds and then space for artwork on the walls I love this so coming out of here let's go to the next floor Yes, guys, there is another floor. So you've got carpeted treads, wooden handrail as well. So let's go up the stairs. It smells fantastic in here as well. <laughs> so the complete, all of the first floor is completely carpeted. Let's go into this first room here. So this is an ensuite bedroom. You can see it fits a, a, a double bed here, just about fits a double with inside, um, bedside tables either side. The bedroom actually benefits from two windows as well. And it's got that kind of like um, traditional, I was going to say coach house feel, you know. Um, and I think that's, that's what um, makes this unique. It's one of the properties of this property. Um, so coming through, let's go into here. This is our en suite. So a beautifully sized ensuite. It's got a three-piece suite, I believe. Yes, so we've got our three-piece suite here. We've got our toilet, sink, and bathtub, and they're all by Villa, Villa Roy and Bock, just like downstairs. You've got this beautiful recessed spotlight here with a shaved socket, hidden away, nice and modern. Mirrored cabinet drawers. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. Have you seen this before, guys? Where the entire wall is brought forwards and the cabinet drawers are actually recessed into that. That is definitely a designer detail there. So we've got fully tiled walls that go all the way from left to right. I think you've also got some walls here left plain because they obviously don't need to be tiled. We've got our almost floor to ceiling height tower rail, chrome tower rail there. So that's fantastic to see. And it looks like it's a central heating one. And then you've got your shower and bath here. Again, like I said, the bathtub is by Villaroy and Bach. And then you've got your um, your shower and by hands grower, this one as well, you have the mixer tap. And then you've got your window, brilliant ventilation, beautifully tiled in the reveals as well. I love that. Fantastic. Let's keep it moving. Going back into this space, you've got a TV point as well, I forgot to mention. And then from this view, you've got your 
wardrobes as well built into it. So it, there is space considered for wardrobe storage, as you can see, ample wardrobes, and that's where your boiler lives. So that's a bit quirky, but it is a separate cupboard. So I think what they've done there is they've tried to maximise the storage space by having that available to you rather than hiding it away. Again, let's go to the next room. So the next room on this floor is your, well, it's another fantastic um, double bedroom. So I think this bed actually looks like it could be a king size bed with two bed sides. Um, I love what they've done there with the interior design, the headboard, how it goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling. And then we've got these quirky openings again. You've got a proper, well, this is a Juliet balcony, so it's completely openable outwards. There's a glass balustrade there to protect you and secure things. This door is most likely going to be on a restrictor, um, but if it's not, you've obviously got the black glass balustrade to protect you. And then you've got the beautiful arch kind of shape on it as well. Again, we've got that kind of traditional aesthetic of a coach house going through. You've got another window and both the windows face the front of the property as well. And then let's look over here. We've got a little kind of uh, walk-in wardrobe area. So let's go in there. We've got sliding wardrobe doors. It's a very, very deep wardrobe, actually. Um, probably it's deeper than your standard wardrobe depth, and it's mirrored, which definitely helps make this space feel bigger. And then the space you're waiting for is this one. This beautifully tiled ensuite. It's tiled throughout, um, floor to ceiling. It's got that beautiful mirrored cabinet that's recessed in, like we saw before. The shaver socket as well, and then the Villeroy and Bloch uh, um, white goods as well. This shower is really, really big. It looks like it's definitely over 1.5 meters wide. I love it, and so it brings that luxury touch as well. You've got the shower frame by Roman as well. Roman, I love that, and the shower itself is by Hans Grower. Very, very good shower, and it's got a rain head fixture as well, and then a beautiful recessed shelf that you just saw there. So they have thought about storage. They've thought about where you're going to put your shampoo and everything. So, guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this nice little um, tour as well. Um, if you liked what you saw, please like this video, but must it all subscribe so that you get alerted when the next one comes up. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.